Okay, today we're going to be building a rechargeable uh, power supply for guitar pedals. So we need some solder, so any solder will do. Some clippers. Uh, you need a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter barrel connector and the other end you need a USB so these can be separate and I've just bought uh, a lead with everything already on it you need a battery power supply a multimeter so we will use this later to check some voltages and a soldering iron And the last thing we need is this here. So this is called a MT3608. So it's a DC voltage converter. You can buy these on eBay. Just type in the name for that. Um, there's plenty on there. Very cheap. Okay, this is the uh, DC to DC converter. Uh, so on this side here we've got uh, voltage input um, and on this side we've got a voltage output and what it does is it converts it and turns it to a higher voltage in here. So by turning this uh, little screw here we can uh, change this voltage. Uh, if I flip it over we can see the name of it here. MT3608. So if you do a search on eBay you'll find them on there. They're around two or three dollars, very cheap. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half, um, strip the wires and then do some measurements and identify uh, what leads what and then we're going to solder them on. So take this here, I'm just going to chop it about here. And then I'm going to strip these wires back. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken this, chopped it off, stripped the wire back, and I've put a little bit of solder on each uh, end of those stripped pieces of wire, and that's to make it easier to solder later on. Uh, there's plenty of soldering videos on YouTube that show you how to do an excellent job. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to check the voltage and make sure I'm soldering onto the right tab on my converter. So I'm going to take a guess here and say that the red one is positive and the white one's negative. But uh, we better check that. So turn this on. So here I've turned it to whatever your multimeter is. Usually it'll have a DC setting, not AC. Otherwise you won't work. So you see there, I've just checked that, and it's definitely correct. So red is uh, the 5 volts, and the white is ground. So if you have a look on a guitar pedal, you'll see that it tells you the polarity that it's expecting. And guitar pedals, the outside barrel connector will be positive, and the inside will be negative. It's usually the opposite of how these um, barrel connectors are set up. So I'm going to guess here that the white one will be connected to here. So this outside edge here. And the red one, which is usually where they have the, the positive voltage, will be on the inside here. So to verify that, I'm going to use the continuity tester, but you can also use the resistance measurement here. So if you get a beeping sound or you get a zero resistance, uh, when you touch the outside of this barrel to this white lead, uh, that indicates that these two are joined. So 
So I've verified that uh, if I solder the, the white to the positive and the red to the negative, I'll get the collect, correct polarity for a guitar pedal. Okay, so this is how we're going to connect it. We've, we've checked the voltage coming in here at this end. So this is coming from a USB power pack. Uh, we've checked the barrel connector at this end and made sure we've got the orientation right here. So on this one, we're going to solder the red one to the positive and the white one to the negative. And on this end, we're going to solder the white one to the positive and the red one to the negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of solder on all of these four pads here. And we've already put solder on these leads and we're going to solder it all on. Here we've soldered these on here and we've soldered them on here. Um, uh, I've added some solder on underneath as well, uh, just to make it a nice strong connection. And what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the battery pack. Uh, we're going to stick the multimeter on the other end and we're going to measure the voltage and adjust it to get it to 9 volts. So what I've got here is I've got it coming out of the battery pack at 5 volts. Going into this it's converting it uh, up to a different DC voltage and coming out of here at nearly 14 volts we've got here at the moment. I've just got it here so you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this little uh, screw backwards and forwards until I get to around 9 volts. So I've uh, fiddled around with this screw backwards and forwards until I've finally got around uh, pretty close to 9 volts. Uh, and then basically what we need to do then is just plug it in and see whether it all works. Okay, to finally set these up, I've got my battery here. Uh, in this case, just for demo purposes, but I've got my voltmeter here so I can, I can check the voltage and the number of amps it's using. I've bought a little project box from eBay uh, and what I'll do is I'll Velcro this in and I'll put a bit of hot glue here and then I'll close this up and then that will keep this protected. Uh, got a daisy chain here and you can run a number of pedals here off the thing. It's all working as it should and it should be pretty quiet. So it's very cheap to make. This is about two dollars. The box I think was five for a dollar or something like that and really cheap. You can buy a daisy chain. All of this is off eBay. You can probably build it for around ten dollars. So this is how to build a rechargeable guitar pedal power supply on the cheap.